Righto, Taliota champs. Now, if you wanted to build a PC gaming system, an Intel 12, 13th or 14th gen system, and you're wondering what motherboard you should get, well, this is it. This is going to be the best mainstream motherboard out there. You can get much more expensive motherboards than this. This is good value for what it is. Well, in today's market anyway, everything's very expensive. But this sort of represents the mid-range. So, of course, if you want more features, you go to ROG Maximus or something like that. There you'll get more bells and whistles, more features. And if you want to get into extreme overclocking, there is no other choice than the Apex. Yes, the ROG Apex motherboard. But for the rest of us who just want a super reliable motherboard with everything you need, nothing holding you back here, and a motherboard that can get the absolute maximum out of our gaming system. So for the, you know, the CPU and GPU, we'll be able to get the maximum performance out of them with this motherboard. This motherboard will not hold you back at all. I myself, for many years when I've been building systems, and unless I want to go to a high-end motherboard, which I do sometimes, I always just get the ROG Strix or the Asus Prime. Mostly the Prime, this one is the Strix. This is the ROG Strix Z790E gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. Now I always get the Prime because I like, you know, the white sort of silver look. But I do realise that this one is going to be the one that most people get. Because most people like a black build and most people are just going to get the Strix ones over the Prime. So even though this is sort of like entry to sort of mid-level motherboard for Asus, it's chock-a-block full of features, right? Everything you need. And it looks like a high-end motherboard. You would not even know this is sort of like a mid-ranger. This motherboard can support up to five M.2 drives. Yes, five. Not only that, one of them is PCI Express 5.0. So you can get the super fast SSDs for this. Of course, PCI Express 5, 16 times slot for your GPU. The Prime did not have PCI Express 5 M.2. So if I was going to choose between the two, I'd get the Strix here because I would want that PCI Express 5 SSD via the PCI Express 5 M.2. Of course, this won't hold you back, as I said before. The VRM, you know, the power solution in this thing will easily be able to overclock your 13900 to the max right to the max no problems i've always overclocked with these things don't be fooled into saying oh i need a motherboard that's more expensive with a beefier vrm you don't and of course you know this is a zeus right so what you get with a zeus and why people buy zeus and why a zeus or rog is number one is because firstly the bios best bios in the business by a mile it's not even close also reliability features innovation they're actually really good at matching the right components to get you the maximum performance there without having to go to more expensive stuff where you know you're gonna to have to pay a lot more for the motherboard so you get a good bang for buck out of these things so of course it's Zeus, so you get great memory support you go have a look at any Zeus motherboard that's like a few years old and you'll see that it's had more bios upgrades now that's not because it's faulty and oh we need more that's because other manufacturers like will only update the bios if they have to whereas Zeus continually refine them over a lot longer period so you support for longer with Zeus that's why I get them and even my mate Dangerous Dave who builds PC systems um, yeah always a Zeus that's the first choice always and I think this motherboard is the best ubiquitous mainstream motherboard out there and this is where you start it's got everything you want and unless you want more just buy this because there's no need to spend more on a higher end motherboard unless you're going to do extreme overclocking or there's you know a specific feature set you need like 10 gig networking or just whatever it is yes those rog motherboards are just amazing the high-end ones you don't need them trust me this will get the max gaming performance out there for you so anyway catch you in the next one tally ho